Hello everyone, welcome to Arrow Cody. Please show support to this broadcast. Please, by all means, share it with your friends, your family, and show some support and dedication and work that you put in every day in every blocks of life so you can form and mold yourself and better yourself as a spiritual being and better yourself as a mental and physical fitness awareness person as well as a spiritual leadership and become a better you. This channel is based on spirituality, it's based on uh, virtual reality understanding, and based on um, collecting your thoughts and simply thinking of your future ahead of time. And I hope y'all enjoy this stream, hope y'all enjoy this broadcast, share it with your friends, your family, and give a little bit of donation here and there. Arrow Cody, welcome to the show. Leo the Great, and we want to introduce you to him, and he's a very good man, a very good uh, spiritual being, and a spiritual person, so we're going to talk about happiness and how to apply it to your daily living. Go ahead. All right, so basically, how to apply happiness to your life. Thanks for me being on the show as well, Arrow Cody, but uh, uh, being socially happy, emotionally happy, and spiritually happy. Uh, this all ties to how you view yourself and your outside life on a daily basis. So, if you want happiness, it's, it's key and is very imperative that you include positive thoughts in your way of thinking and in your action and doing things because doing good and good follows. You do good and good follows. I see. So basically, how do you apply it to your life? How do you uh, try to do it in a way where it involves around other people and other peers around you to see the good attentions in you? Well, something that happens natural um, can't really be forced, can be demanded or can be commanded. It's something that it's a vital piece of life that others just can't seem to reach. So if you can reach it in another person, it's good to share your happiness. It's good to have the intention of happiness and to bring joy and jubilation into someone's life. No matter what the trial and tribulation may be, no matter what hardship uh, approaches you or welcomes itself in your life, it will not be prosperous because you have practiced routine, routinely on how to be happy. Um, whether it's buying something for a person, surprising a person, your significant other, your siblings, a complete stranger, it all goes hand in hand with understanding that happiness can not only be within you, but it can be in someone else if you put forth the effort and making them happy. So happiness is based on understanding your self-awareness and applying it to your daily living by understanding spiritual awareness and aware of your surroundings and how James. others behave around James. you? James. Absolutely. Where are you going? So basically, how would you apply it to your daily living and live forward to a brighter future and tell other people the steps on how to get there? Well, I would classify it to be three simple steps. Uh, honesty, compassion, and determination. Again, that's honesty, compassion, and determination on how to maintain the peace that brings forth happiness in your life. So that's, that's good. That's good. How do you uh, be able to discipline yourself to keep it motive and keep the momentum and the positive way of living towards your actions? Repeat that again. Repeat the last part. How would you keep the motives and positive way of living in a positive outcome to have the positive actions? 
Well, that can be simple as well. But discipline. Train yourself. You have to train yourself. Okay, even though this day is hard, I'm going to make the most of it because today may be my last day living or existing. So, with that being said, you have to train yourself. You have to, in other words, become your conscience in a living figure in a 3D or 4D dimension. Uh, being happy, motivation. You know, we talk about what motive really is. It's a key word in motivation. And your motivation must be so superb and your motivation has to be compelling for you to find inspiration to be happy or to shed happiness. So, so go ahead. So, with that being said, uh, your willpower is it determination that will give you the motivation, the willpower by having uh, faith in your ability and faith in your maker? Absolutely. I couldn't agree with you more. All right. So how would you manage to build on top of that to build up discipline and focus and concentration to have a better uh, determination to have motivation? Uh, Focus, concentration on who you are, your inner being. Do you think it involves around understanding your emotion and your self-awareness? Absolutely. Can you explain to people how you understand what your self-awareness is and who you are as an individual being? Well, your self-awareness comes from your inner chakras. Uh, Chakras can be better known as the rhythm of the body or the rhythm of the spirit that each one of us possesses. And it's just like a mind and not an action. If you don't exercise or you don't work out that sense of uh, chakra or that sense of, um, what was the last word you said again? Belief. And belief within yourself, then it becomes a challenge. But as you grow older, the more older you get, the more wiser you're supposed to become. So everything that you may not know now or may not be accustomed to, it may transpire in your life 10, 15 years, maybe five years down the line. But you'll always have that memoir in your head that's, that constantly reminds you of your goal and your purpose in life, which it is to be happy, ultimately. Do you and think, successful. Do you think... Uh age is wisdom or do you think the actions we do gives us the wisdom I think God grants us the gift of wisdom and it's up to us to use the wisdom wisely okay I think my perspective on understanding what wisdom is is about simply learning yourself and who you are as an individual being because if God is the image of you then the image of God lives in us and we got to understand our self-value and quality to understand who our God is in order to understand where our happiness and where we stand in the place to have a place worth standing in. Absolutely. So basically, I think action, the more things we do, the more things we a cure in our life like if I was to have a hard time in my life experience and I did stuff in my life experience that I didn't understand at first but then learned through time and the action is what gives me the wisdom am I right? You're right. So the action the more things we do the more things we experience through hardship or good works and it gives us wisdom. It's not about the age. It's about doing and learning from your past mistakes to better yourself in the future. Yeah, you're right. So how would you go about explaining that to the people? How would you go about like applying that to your daily living and knowing that the things we do today will determine our future tomorrow? Well, by... I would say trial and error, you know, action upon reaction, cause and effect. 
it even relates to science and gravity. Uh, what you do will ultimately have a commodified effect on your life. Karma is everything. You know, karma comes around. If I throw a rock at you and it hits you and kills you, I may not die from a rock, but the same impact may be done for me to me later on down the line in my life. So it's important that I practice good, healthy habits on living, you know, and being accustomed and adjusting to different means of environment and the demands of the environment, including social beings, which which is what we are, social beings. So it's very important that, you know, if you're listening to this, that you gain a sense of morale from this conversation because it's not spoken for no reason or for our good health. It can actually benefit you in the long run. So, yeah. That's good. Well, I'm glad we had this talk and I'm glad. I hope everyone learned something from this broadcast. Hasten Myers, uh, check out his broadcast that he might have soon. Uh, it will be called Leo the Great. Most definitely. And his broadcast, check it out uh, on Anchor or check it out on Spotify. he be on there soon. Um, and give him some donation and a little bit of support here and there to build up his broadcast. When he starts it in uh, Arrow Cody's broadcast, if y'all enjoyed this broadcast, please show support and a little bit of hard work and dedication by giving a little bit of donation here and there to build up a brighter future. And check us out on Spotify, Breaker, and much more broadcasts to come along the way. And we hope everyone can benefit from this. And we welcome y'all to Arrow Cody the show. And we welcome Hasten Myers, also known as Leo the Great. So thank you all for y'all's time. Hope y'all enjoyed. Leo, anything to say for the audience? Peace, love, and happiness. And have a nice day, everyone. All right. All right, okay, see you. You said Cody. I was going to say you're talking to him, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm.